Do you see this bell icon here? Hit it now and we'll ensure you get delivered the very best of reviews, interviews and pop culture content. Yami Gautam Dhar, as a play school teacher who holds her 16 students hostage, is clever counterintuitive casting. The actor exudes a warmth and charm that makes the visual of her pointing a gun at kindergarten kids even more startling. Director Bezad Kambata, who has co-written the script with Ashley Michael Lobo, sets her up as a horrifically unhinged criminal, which is instantly intriguing. Eventually, however, a Thursday chickens out and becomes a partially effective rabble-rousing film that offers dangerous and simplistic solutions to our polity. Naina Jaswal, like so many cinematic vigilantes before her, is a system ka shikar. Just as Badhai though was a spiritual sequel to Badhai Ho, a Thursday is a spiritual sequel to a Wednesday. Neeraj Pandey's high adrenaline thriller about an ordinary man who sets up an elaborate trap to kill terrorists. Aapke ghar mein cockroach aata hai, to aap kya karte hain, he says. Aap usko palte nahi, maarte hain. He describes himself as just a stupid common man wanting to clean his house. Nana's fight is a little more personal. In both films, there is dialogue about whether the law-breaking methods that the lead characters adopt are sahi or ghalat, but this is just lip service. Both films position criminals as heroes. While a Wednesday presents an overwhelmingly male world, in a Thursday, the key characters are female. Apart from Nena, Neha Dupia plays the heavily pregnant cop Catherine Alvarez. Maya Sarau is Shalini, a television anchor, and Dimple Kapadia is the Indian Prime Minister Maya Rajguru. Dimple, elegant and authoritarian in a silk sari, gets a solid moment in which she firmly puts into place an advisor who dares to suggest that she's being emotional because she's a woman. The most prominent male in the scenario is Atul Kulkarni as super cop Javed Khan, who like Commissioner Prakash Rathor in A Wednesday, becomes the negotiator and confidant for Nena. The most critical aspect of these movies is that the storytelling needs to be so gripping that viewers don't ask questions about logic and plausibility. A Wednesday succeeded in doing that. Also, Nasruddin Shah was formidable as the regular Joe who decides that enough is enough. His performance, especially in the climactic speech, imbued the far-fetched scenario with gravitas. Bezad creates a setup with potential, but you never lose sight of the football-sized loopholes, and his button pushing is far more obvious than Neeraj's. A Thursday is too afraid to make Nena actually dangerous or even unlikable. Until she goes rogue, she's overwhelmingly loved by both parents and kids. She's the type of teacher who remembers every child's birthday. The children aren't fleshed out in any meaningful way. They're uniformly adorable props used to wring your heart out. The background music by Rushan Dalal and Kaizad Gherda is insistently loud and the acting is overwrought. Even the usually understated Atul gives in to exaggerated expressions, though some of his lines, the dialogue is by Vijay Maurya, land a solid punch. Yami becomes more show-footed as the story unfolds. In the first hour, her sinister act seems a little forced. She keeps widening her eyes to appear bad, but slowly she finds her groove. Her climactic face-off with the PM is one of the best scenes in the film. The scars in Nena's psyche are revealed, and the emotion in the moment overrides the logic. We know that this can't happen, and yet we're moved. A Thursday has stray moments like this that make you sit up and take notice, but mostly the film lurches about without enough focus. The screenplay attempts to reveal the rot in the system. Everyone from the cops to the media to bureaucrats and the public hungrily consuming the drama on social media is indicted. But the writing doesn't have the sharpness or complexity that this required. The takedown of the media is especially feeble. Clearly, television anchors and their bosses are Bollywood's new favourite villains. Remember Dhamaka? Here a boss exploits his anchor's terrible predicament for TRPs. After a Wednesday and a Thursday, can we expect a Friday in which yet another disgruntled citizen will take up arms? I'm not sure this formula is elastic enough to sustain a franchise. This moth ka khel, as a character describes it, can only go that far. You can watch a Thursday on Disney Plus Hotstar. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and check out our website filmcompanion.in.